Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am here with a planner video. I was excited to do the planner video because I just did the vision board video and that was, it did wonders for me. And a lot of people, um, you know, messaged me below th that video and said they were inspired, encouraged, and was looking forward to doing one themselves. So I was excited to hear that, that it, you know, motivated other people to do the same thing. Um, so I want to show you the planner that I am getting started on. Oh, and if you have not seen that video, you might want to, well, you don't have to see it first, but after this, go on over there and I'll, I'll link it at the end of this video. Go to my vision board 2020. It's not from the beginning of this year. It is right for this time that we're going through now. Um, coming out of it, I thought the vision board and the planner were just, you know, excellent ide ideas to do. So that's why I wanted to do them to get people out of the doldrums, to give people, you know, hope, inspiration, encouragement to go and finish 2020 on a high note and not, you know, wait around till 2021. Because I've been hearing a lot of things about, you know, 2020, oh, it's just nothing, you know. 2020 can still be great, all right? So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is the planner that I chose. A lot of you all know the last couple months I've been, not at the forefront with it, but behind the scenes, I have been picking planners and trying out different things for, you know, time management because in my vision board video, I'll let you all know, and a lot of you all that have been with me a long time know, timeliness is is... Um, it's not my strongest suit. I'm not a super late person, but it's just that, that five, ten minute late thing. And I'm always just, it, I just keep on striving for the time, time thing. And then I'm always running behind. I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things on my plate. Not just me, but my family too. We're coming and going. We're just some busy folk. And I don't like to wear that as a badge of honor. Believe you me. <laughs> so I need organization all of the time. Um, so anyway, this is one that I had picked up on clearance from um, Hobby Lobby, and it was only $3 and something. This is the, the Happy Planner, and a lot of people love it. It's a nice planner. It was cute. I like the size and everything, and it um, you know had tabs in it and all that good stuff, but I didn't like the layout. I did not like the layout. I like to be in charge of... You know how I lay things out. I have yet to find a planner that I just love. I did not like, you know, the way this was done. It was not, um, it wasn't conducive for me. It, this is a nice planner, but it was not conducive for me. Um, I like things a specific way. I'm, I'm not picky. I wouldn't say that. I just like things a certain way. And it seems like the older you get, the more you you know about yourself and you know exactly how you like things. So anyway, this was not this was not it for me. Um, and I, surely, yeah, a lot of y'all know I did not like this design on the front. I did not. So I'm going to show you all what I am used to. The only thing I don't like about my system is the size of the binders. Everything else I love. So I love the home management binder system. It's something you just make up and you do yourself, but you use binders because it's just hard to, I can do this on my home computer because I'm using eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. So it's very easy to design everything. You design it on Word or whatever you design on, or whatever, I use Word still. I don't know if there's something new and upcoming, but um, yeah, and let me show you all. I have four other binders, actually five, but one is just strictly recipes and all that is downstairs. But a lot of you all know I have my YouTube binder, and this is the last one that I came up with, the latest one that I made. And I love, oh my goodness, I love my YouTube binder. This helps to keep me on track with my videos. It's helping with my growth and everything staying organized with YouTube. So I love that. And, okay, this is not the, well, yeah, I guess this before that. This is the latest one made before that. It's not specifically for me. It's actually for my daughter. This is her college binder. But it stays here. I made it. I made it for her, specifically for her college career. 
when she first started, um, you know, looking for scholarships and applying for scholarships, this, that, and the other, we had to be on track. And then when she was accepted into a school and, um, you know, we had to, you know, you're getting into um, their dorms. They had to register for dorms and, you know, all we had dorm room ideas in here. Financial aid, everything is in this binder. And it has been keeping us organized for the past three years. It's her last year coming up, her senior year. So y'all, y'all got college age kids. Keep everything in a binder. And on here it says Dream, has her name, Jalen. Um, it has college information, faith, hope, and it says Imagine on there. And on the back it says Hope and Believe. And um, on the binder it says Discover on here so I love to put words and um, you know affirmations and things because I just do believe if you write it down you make it plain as the word of God says you know that words matter words matter what you speak over your life does matter this is the original one my home management binder for the house um, I got tired of papers being here and there and everywhere I still have to work on my kitchen bench area sometimes with mail coming in. But, um, yeah, everything, everything is in here. And I'm, I'm not even going to spend time on this. I am going to link. This was one of the first videos I did on YouTube. Um, I, I was saying that first year, rather, about the home management binder. This is my favorite, favorite thing. Um, and like I said, it has everything. Everything from our doctors, you know, um, Inform doctor's information on my husband, me, the kids, um, dentist appointments, you know, what somebody was diagnosed with, what medications they took. So we'll know, you know, um, sometimes doctors ask, when did you, when did you last go to the, to the doctor? When were you prescribed this? What medications were you on? Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you cannot think. Um, and then I had my daily schedule in here. I had, you know, vacation planning finance, uh, budget information, home vehicle information. We get the cars worked on. What we had done to them is in here. Just, I mean, everything. Just the kids, when they would come around with the new school year, um, their teacher's name, their classes, they have a section for themselves. So I have a section. Chris has a section. The kids have a section. And then, I mean, everything. So I didn't have to go searching for anything, everything right here so but it's so it's so heavy i can't use this for every day anymore it is full <laughs> and it has everything in it it's the the house it's like a not a bible but y'all know what i mean that's our household everything so this is my business heaven sent creations and in here was everything that i did uh, a lot of you all may who have been with me a long time know that I was a vendor uh, at different events. I sold b uh, bath bombs. I make t-shirts, glittered glasses, all that good stuff. I don't do it as much anymore. I haven't done it in like the last year, I think, because YouTube has taken over. But um, yeah, this is, everything is in here. There's still a few little things in here that I use, but I love this binder too. So when I do, you know, I did a lot of streams of income that I tried <laughs> so my craft business everything is in this binder so now I needed a daily just a general daily binder planner if you will um, but this is the one I chose this time I like it though I really like it uh, I went to get another binder and I, I bought one anyway because I know probably in January I may Go. I like to decorate things myself. This was already decorating stuff, of course. It came just like this, and it's really cute. But I, you know, I might put something on the front. I don't know, but it's, you know, I love it. But I, I, it's not personalized, you know, for me. So I might put something on the front. <laughs> and there's a little pocket here for something. So I love this design, but I just might put a little extra something on it, you know, just to personalize it for me personalize it for Tracy all right but I love this and it had y'all the two pockets I have to have two pockets have to I've just gotten used to it in my other binders it holds so much whether you want to put receipts in there something else here and something here something here 
it just holds everything. So I am going to show you all the templates that I made for my everyday binder. And I hope this will inspire you to make your own. If you have not found a planner that you like and you're looking to make something just tailor-made for you, then this is the video for you. All right, so here it goes. All right, here are the designs, the templates rather that I made for my binder. And I love visual, you guys. I love to see things pop and actually have before me like visually what it is I'm gonna be doing. I like to have it, you know, in color and looking nice, specific and you know straight to the point and what I need so the first page when I open my binder will be keeper of the home and I won't read it but I will let's see if I can I'll get it in shot and you can freeze it and read it okay so this is my mantra I know that I'm a child of God I am a wife I am a mother and then of course I'm Tracy so th this sums up me for the most part. It doesn't go straight strictly into my business, but it does say things about my business as far as, you know, my aspirations and different things. So this is the first thing I'll see when I open up just to keep me reminded of, you know, my purpose. And then I'll see the month at a glance. And so now it's May, but I also have and of course, I I did it up. <laughs> I know I'm a little extra. And um, did June. So I have all the uh, remaining months in the year. So with May, right behind May, it's going to be my daily schedule. And up at the top it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I didn't have to. Ha I have two designs for my weekly schedule and. I didn't want, you know, to say Friday, Saturday, you know, specifically. I wanted to be able to choose which day. So I can make multiple copies of just two pages. Just two pages. And so I love this little template and, um, you know, the way it works out. So it reminds me to pray. Reminds me to do my scripture reading for the day. Um, things I have to do for myself is up here at the top my household chores. Now all of these things I did make the years ago in 2012 because this these templates, these designs were from my home management binder. The only thing that is new is this. Because I my schedule y'all is just even more so overloaded now seems like than the kids than when the kids were here. So I really need to stay on track hour by hour. Um, working from home and trying to do other things and multitask is a hot mess sometimes <laughs> so I need to be on point so that's the only thing that I added new for my binder for my planner um, so as you see here that's why it says children because I made this long long time ago when uh, Jordan had just left home and uh, gotten married Jalen was in the eighth grade Isaiah was in the ooh, Oh, first grade, I think. First, second grade. So I had a little, lot of little things. That's why I was so colorful, too, because I was kind of... But I still love this. I still love this. So I'm going to keep it. Um, it has my errands and appointments for the day. If I had to go anywhere, I had any appointments. It reminded me to exercise. It reminded me to drink my water and what my goal was for that day. I'm still cooking, you know, a lot. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I can plan out what I need to make for the week. And then here I have my household chores that I need to get done for the day and then tasks for the day. Other than chores, I have other things to do, whether it's go visit my mother, which of course right now we can't because of what's going on, but you know, different, different tasks, different things that I'm gonna be doing for the day, I put it here. All right, so that's that and that is going to go right behind May but behind each day that is where I will put a daily schedule as far as what time I need to do what and I know some people don't have to be bothered with this but I do I really need to know what I'm supposed to be on task for 
basically each hour because I am working at home and doing chores at the same time. Uh, you know, I have to run up to the high, the high school for Isaiah or, you know, games. We're still going to softball games and soccer games, all that. So I need to be on point with everything by the hour. So, yes. So behind every day, it's going to be a time schedule. All right. So that is it. And this is the second one. Like I said, I had two little templates for my dailies. So that's that's it. And I love those designs. I came up with this myself um, on Word. And um, what did I do? Oh, clip art. Back in the day, I don't know if they still allow you to get it off the computer or not, but I did clip art. And I printed these and made these out myself. And I love them. I just love being able to do this, you know, um, design it myself because it's exactly what I need. Okay, so after the schedule, it's going to be things that I need to keep in one place for this year. Like I said, my home management binder has a lot of these things in it. But um, I'm trying to retire it because it's so big and heavy. And I just, I'm just i just going to be keeping things for this year. So when I have all of my things about me, you know, I had that for my husband and my children. But that's in the, in the big home management binder. Because they're getting older. And even though we still have appointments and different things like that, I don't look at it as much for Jalen because she's gone. Chris can keep up with his himself. And uh, so anyway, I still have, you know, stuff for me. Time with God, the subjects I'm studying and different things like that. Then I have a health and wellness plan for myself. What my goal is, and I am trying to lose weight. So I have that on there. And what I plan to do as far as a workout, foods that I need to add, and just, you know, different things about my health and wellness. So that's that. And the next one is medical information. So right here, you know, I have my name, my birth date, who my doctor is, the address, all that good stuff. So if for some reason too, these are so good to have in case you're incapacitated or something happens to you, all your information is here in one place. And so I tell my husband, you know, this is where this is, you know, in case you need it. Um, you know, my allergies are here. Of course, he already knows that. But there's some things, you know, men just don't remember and don't, you know. So, it'll be all be here. When my last doctor's appointment was, if I was prescribed anything, you know, all that good stuff is here. And that helps me and it'll help him. If I had surgeries, procedures, different notes about medical things, it's here. And then also, here is my master cleaning list. So, I'll stay on point with that. You know, sometimes we do daily cleaning, you know, sprucing up. Some things are weekly, some things are once a month, seasonal, like some people do, of course, spring cleaning, fall cleaning, and then there's things you do once a year. Now, if you need to change your filters on your furnace and stuff, you'll have that, you know, here and different yard work or whatever. All that stuff goes here, so you remember when to do it. Also, these are things I need to know. Um, let's see. There, there's just some things you need to know, uh, whether it's some insurance information or something you need to get to quick and you don't feel like going to the file cabinet to find it, you know, all these things. There's sometimes things just pop in your head and you say, oh, I need to remember that. I need to know that. So that's where this goes on this piece of paper. And then I have a shopping list, um, things that we need. You know, sometimes you have something in your mind, just a running list, and then you forget and you say, oh my goodness, what was that that we needed? Or what, what did we say we were going to get? Or what is the next, you know, thing that we need? So I have all that here. Like my husband just said, we need a, a new ironing board cover. Um, so I'll put that on things that we need. And, you know, and that'll be there. So next time I make out my shopping list, you know, I can go to that. So I have two of those. Things that we are about to run out of things that we need medicine that we need soon or whatever all that will go on here and I might not need this as much now since we don't have as many people in the house like I said but this is one that I made years ago and it's things we have uh, staples that's in our in our pantry 
um, whether I'm down to just two sugars, because I was baking even more so then. Whether I'm down to two things of sugar, and I, you know, that's the big staple thing that I need next, or you know, whatever, just pantry inventory. Special occasions. Like we have a wedding coming up in September um, of this couple we just dearly love. And um, you know, all, all those things will go on here. If people are having a big birthday celebration, we're invited to. Or Jalen has something special at her college we need to drive down for. If Isaiah has a big tournament even, that's still an occasion. Um, let's see if there's a big anniversary coming up for somebody in our family. If a niece or nephew is graduating this year, whatever, all that will be on here so that we will remember when it's time. This one I don't need anymore, but I just wanted to show you all. This was back in 2012 when I made this too. Um, things that they needed for school. And I just wrote it all down here and I would, you know, just take the paper out and take it with us when we go shopping. This is another one from back in the day. And I probably won't be using it now, but things we need, things we want. These were for big items, like appliances, backyard stuff, you know, cars or whatever. So, and then eye doctor, of course, all of us except Isaiah are going to the eye doctor. Um, as I, Isaiah has been, but he doesn't need glasses or anything. That's what I'm saying. Me, Chris, Jalen wear glasses and contacts. So we go on the regular and several times a year. So. I have that in there since we do go, you know, do that a lot. And also, family dental information will still go here because we still go often. Okay, these are ideas for fun things to do when somebody thinks of something. And we're not going to do it right now. Maybe, you know, I'll just jot it down. Because, you know, all this stuff we do do. We do go to the movies, uh, football and baseball games. Uh, we play old school video games. We bowl. And then there's other things that I'll jot down. Maybe the kids like, oh. Let's go such and such and then we're not going to do it right now but I just put it on here so we won't forget so that is it that is it so this will be the inside I put everything in order like I wanted it and you just click that and it opens right up insert your paper so I have everything in there now I'm just going to click it closed and I have my pockets here, double pockets. That's one pocket, two pocket. They're nice and clear so I can put my receipts or anything that I just need to keep for a while. I'll put it in here. So I switched just a couple of things around. Still the keeper of the home is there. The month at a glance is there. What I need to do in a day is there. The time frame I need to do it in is there. And so of course these are the monks here and then right back here I have time with God things that I'll be studying my health plan things I need to know things we need to get you know and go shopping that people mention just jot it down um, I'll be in here every day so I'll see it and then uh, my master cleaning list is there Things all about me so my husband or kids can come in here and if they need to know my size, my this, that, that'll be there. My medical information is there. Surgeries, procedures is there. Special occasions coming up are there. That's the second page to that. Fun things to do. And then um, medicines and stuff we need coming up or whatever, running out of, all that will be there. School shopping. I'm still going to keep this because Isaiah's still in school. And even for Jalen, I'll just jot down things I might think. You know, she's grown and she has her own list and to do because she's in college. She knows what she's going to buy, but she still goes, you know, uh, shopping every year. We go buy her dorm stuff and everything and I just might you know jot some stuff down here I have ideas of the family dental information is here. Sorry. I had to cover up some information I had the address and all that good stuff on there Eye doctor is here And then pantry inventory I decided to just keep it in there and then 
the bigger things that we need. I said, I'll just keep that in there too, but put it at the back. So that is everything for my daily planner, yearly planner rather. Also, I will be adding dividers with tabs that hang over the edge of the paper so that I can go to any section I want to right away. It will probably only be three, one for the schedule planning part, one for the household part, and then I'll probably add a section for budget in here also. So y'all yeah, have dividers with tabs. But I have everything that I need right in this binder. So that is that. I love it. I am in love with it. And this is a one and a half inch binder. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something from that. I hope it encouraged you to go ahead and get your binder. I purchased this at Ollie's. Ollie's um, Bargain Store. I don't. Some people have them. Some cities don't. But, um, you know, I went to Walmart and, was it Walmart? No, I was at Meijer. And like I said, I did pick up another binder. But when I got to, I had to go to Ollie's for something. And when I saw this, it was already put together. Because I'm short on time right now. Us, you know, remodeling that backyard and everything. So I'm short on time. And I saw this. I was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm getting this. It's already made. I'm getting this. <laughs> so, yeah, I, this is so cute. So cute. Um, so I hope you all, you know, are inspired to make your own binder. If you do, if you try it, please let me know. Um, like these binders, um, like I said, I was going to link the, the binder videos at the end, but I bought this cards, not cardstock, um, scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And you can also get it from, um, Michael's. But when I did my binders, I got scrapbooking paper and just you know cut out designs and then of course i made words on the computer and just designed all of them myself and it's a joy when you make something yourself and you make it pretty and interesting you will use it you will use it so all right guys be blessed i love you all and share this video share this video on your platforms for me and uh, introduce some other people to this little planning binder thing that I have going on. And maybe some will stay with me and join the Tracy's Place family. All right, be blessed. I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.